All right, um, so this is very simple. We want to know the difference between a single phase and then uh, a three phase motor. We know that usually single phase motors make use of um, capacitors to be able to create that um, rotating magnetic field to make the rotor of the motor move. Um, unlike three phase motors, where you have three different windings that are connected to three different electrical lines which automatically creates the rotating magnetic field to make the motor rotate in the case of a single phase motor um, we would have to include a capacitor to create the phase difference that will cause the rotating magnetic field in the stator of the motor now most of the times um, you can easily identify single phase motors when you see the capacitors connected on them. But there are times that the capacitors may be embedded in the motor itself. So externally, you don't see any capacitor, but you can only see terminals and then terminal markings. So for instance, if you look at this motor, this motor is a single phase motor, and you can see that there are six terminals brought out for connection. Just like um, this is a three phase motor, and you can see there are also six terminals all right so here there is no capacitor outside to easily let you know that this is a single phase motor now if you want to identify between this and this the simplest way to do that is to check the terminal markings and usually even if the capacitor doesn't show externally there are terminals that will clearly show you where the capacitor connections are all right so for instance um, in this motor you have the terminals labeled as U1, U2, V1, V2, and then C1 and C2. What this simply means is that in here, we have two windings. We have a main winding, which is usually labeled U. So this is the beginning of the main winding. And then the main winding ends here. And then we also have an auxiliary winding, which also starts from V1 and ends at V2. Okay, then we also have a capacitor. So in this motor, the capacitor is actually inside the motor. It's not external, so you will not see it. But you have the terminals brought out to C1 and then C2. Okay, all right. So in case you come across uh, a motor with six terminals, it doesn't automatically mean that it is a three phase motor. For you to be sure, you have to watch the terminal labeling to confirm whether it is a single phase motor or a three phase motor. So between these two, um, usually it is the labeling that will let you know whether it's a three phase motor or a single phase motor. If it's a three phase motor, commonly you will see the labelings as either U1, V1, W1, U2, V2, W2, or for instance, in this case, you see A, B, C, then X, Y, Z. All right, so what it simply means is that with this labeling, A is the beginning of a winding, and then it ends at X. And then B is the beginning of one winding, and that winding ends at Y. Then we have C as the beginning of uh, the third winding, and then the end of that winding is Z. Okay. So in another video, I'll talk more about how to connect supply to this and make it work later. All right, so in the next video, I'll be showing how to connect the single phase motor terminals to supply. Okay, so when we are supplying single phase to this one, we have only two lines, but we have six terminals. So how do we connect all these terminals to live and neutral to make the motor work? I'll be talking about this in the next video so please if you are new and you have not yet subscribed kindly do so so you get notified when i post the next videos thank you very much for watching this video please if this video is useful to you kindly share with others to also benefit see you in the next video